my people don't forget if you forget anything in this communication don't forget that teaching them your native tongue while they're learning english is very beneficial to them don't forget so today we're talking about five reasons why you should teach your children your native tongue it's a continuation of part one so this is a part two video all right so do not forget that you are an image of all the people that have come before you in your family you are a representation of that so your children are also a representation of all that came before them including you they're representing you so how could you throw those thousands of years away um, and just throw your language away as if it's something to be tossed and forgotten. According to the National Clearinghouse for Bilingual Education, IDRA, children who speak another language other than English can excel in school. They can, because they have a special talent, just like the other children who are in class learning the same, um, learning with English in their classroom. It says that children who speak a language other than English enter U.S. schools with the ability and talent similar to those who are native English speakers. Um, in addition, these children have the ability to speak another language that, if properly nurtured by the parents and teachers, right? So this is where your parents come in. You can't just have them speaking and not continually nurturing that language. You have to make sure you have a way for them to continue to speak it. Because if they only hear English, that's what they will continue to thrive in, right? It says that it will benefit them throughout their lives in school. Children who speak other languages will learn to speak, to write, and to read English as well. However, again, what I said, unless parents and teachers actively encourage the maintenance of the native language, the child is in danger of losing that language. So you have to continue to nurture it. You can't just leave it to the child, especially if you didn't start off um, teaching them the language or immersing them in an environment that allows for that language to thrive then you have to make sure you find ways even if you don't speak the native tongue find ways for that child to learn it and it does not hinder their english in any way another reason is the child's first language is critical to her identity so if you when a child speaks your native tongue they can tie themselves better to their root right their identity their cultures their traditions better than if they speak a language that is foreign to you who is in the home who is the parent right so and by foreign i mean you know it's english is foreign to most of us it's not our native tongue even though we have a very good command of it if they speak your native tongue and they they can easily interact with like i said in the first video with your um your mother your father your other the elders in your family right so um, it says that maintaining this language helps the child value his or her culture and heritage, okay? And that it contributes to a positive self-concept, right? I mean, can you argue that? It does, because I've seen that in my children. My children probably say, I'm Nigerian, even though they're mixed, you know, they're mixed national uh, nationalities, they have mixed nationality, they will tell you I'm Nigerian, but it's what it is, right? Um, the IDRA also says that it helps them socially. It says that when the native language is not maintained, important links to family and other community members may be lost. This is something I've said in another video that I made, that um, by encouraging native language use, by parents um, parents can prepare the child to interact with the native language community both in the united states and across the world right and overseas so imagine you 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 imagine a child who speaks their native tongue they can easily interact here in the u.s you right with you with those who are in the community or your small or large community in the u.s they can also go overseas, like go home, go to your great, great grandfather or mother and be able to interact with them because a lot of them don't speak English. So how are you losing again? I've shown you that 
um, children are not confused you if you haven't seen my video about um, the video which demonstrates that my children don't mix the languages together and they fluently speak both please go ahead and watch it um, I might link that I'll try and link that in this video another reason is that of intellectual development when children this is according to the IDRA when children who are not fully fully fluent in English are functioning in only English meaning they're only speaking English then they are functioning at a lower intellectual level right you're depriving them of the oxygen to feed the other language that you could be teaching them they don't have to be fluent in English for you to um, have them speak learn another language so again if you are pulling back your native tongue and saying that they have to speak just English so that it can be fully developed in that and have a better command of it they'll be functioning at a lower capacity of their brain the brain is able to do to learn what more than one language don't forget that also there are educational advantages to continue continuing to teach your children and have them learn your native tongue um, it's proven that children who continue to learn their native tongue and not just English and English is the main language here because a lot of us speak English some speak French but English is the main uh, is operational language um, other language in my um, in the points I'm trying to make that's why you're hearing English a lot in your world it could be French but here it's English so again there are educational advantages so children who continually learn their native tongue as they are learning English or or are in an English environment will thrive in later educational years why they will thrive when compared to their counterpart who learn English at the expense of their native language let's say that again children who learn English and continue to learn their native tongue will have higher educational achievements than their counterparts who learn English at the expense of their native tongue. If that doesn't tell you anything, that should. So you shouldn't just suppress their learning of their native tongue because you want them to learn English. They can coincide and the children can thrive learning both and in, in, um, in educationally, it actually helps them. It helps them be higher academic achievers. Okay? Okay? Don't forget that. All right, so I, I touched on this point before, but nah, um, it is very easy. There is a kind of, I can't speak. There are economic advantages. A person who speaks their native tongue and English will thrive and will have better employment opportunity then someone, your child, my child, anyone who just speaks English. Don't forget that. So there are advantages to letting your children speak your native tongue. My people, don't forget. If you forget anything in this communication, don't forget that. Teaching them your native tongue while they're learning English is very beneficial to them. Don't forget to. Okay, so hope this video is helpful. Please subscribe to our channel, subscribe to this channel, The Aspro Speaks Yoruba, and share this video to those with those who need to be inspired and share the other videos that we have here because people need to see that others are doing it in the diaspora. Thanks for watching. I want to see your comments below. Take care. Bye bye. I both confess what you are learning. Kilo down, bowl it down. Oh, fair war. It will fair war. Ah, you fell into the dinosaur? Mm. 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 Show us the book, Corin. Show us Corin to go here for me. Mama, 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 mama,
そうもっぺんはエレイかもっぺんはエレイもっぺんはエレイもっぺんはエレイほじゃもうしよう Oh,